students and uh, parents best of luck for the first time examination i hope you all are set for tomorrow it is uh, all about a process of self reflection so if you wish to see like what we know what we do not know that is all a journey and uh, assessment and examination is an integral part of teaching and learning process so do not worry at all it's a part of the process and you have to evolve as a better human being as a better student and similarly the teachers also they have to evolve as a better teacher just to see like what they are able to communicate and deliver in the classroom in a right way and the students are able to reflect and write during the examination so my dear students you know this time we are taking up online examination for the first time in life you would be sitting and creating an environment for yourself where you are writing a paper so what i realized during this journey of teaching and learning in an online environment that it is basically an opportunity for acquiring life skills of being honest and taking up whatever is coming up so right now it's examination so how we can be honest when we are taking up the examination that should be the first important thing it is not all about marks right what you have to think is yes i am able to achieve in acquiring the right life skills i am able to communicate if i am facing some challenge i am able to reflect and see what i know and what i do not know and i am able to do everything independently that is how you grow as an individual it's not about marks always remember these marks are not going to count anywhere what will help in life is the life skills always remember this and the life mantra is i am not the best but i am ready to give my best so there's a advice for all of you that do your best and leave the rest that's the key thing for life to go on okay so coming back to the first terminal examination so here i'm going to share with you certain important things this is for all students as well as parents so you know that class 7 and 8 exams they are starting from 7 september 7th class exam are starting from 7 september that is monday and 8th class will begin the exam on 8 september that is tuesday date sheet as a student and as a parent you can check from the google classroom it has been posted by the class teachers now you know that this time we are having two types of examination first part will be the objective type paper the duration is 1 hour it will start at 8:30 and the time is 8:30 to 9:30 am second thing is very important you need to join in the google meet first to meet your class teacher and that time is 8:15 am talk to the teacher set get set and just communicate if you are having some problem or tell that okay ma'am i am ready and at that time teacher would be marking the attendance in the google classroom you can see your attendance that attendance sheet will be available for the students also parents can also see that attendance that okay my child was present during that particular exam and it is transparent you can see the teacher would be marking the attendance in the google sheets another important thing is the link of the google meet it is it will be available in the classwork 
tab under term one Google Meet. I will be taking a tour to the Google Classroom also, so that you you can practice this today. And tomorrow you should not be having anxiety or any chaos at the time when you are just going to the classroom and seeing oh these classroom tabs are new for me i don't know where is my paper where is my google meet so you have to be very well prepared for that another important thing which you have to notice is there will be two groups because this time you have to come to the google classroom and check your roll number first whether you belong to group 1 or you belong to group 2 your class teacher must have shared the roll number wise groups with all of you if it is not still clear please whatsapp to your teacher talk to the teacher and just know from her which is your group what we have done is say for example here you can see uh, we have taken a structure of class 8j 40 students are there so in group 1 roll number 1 to 20 are there and in group 2 Row number twenty one to forty are there. Fine. So make sure you join the Google Meet as per your group because your attendance will be marked by the teacher who is on duty in the respective groups. Okay. So now I am going to the next important point. Subjective type paper will be from ten a.m. to eleven thirty a.m. You know about it. That's also a forty marks paper. And ensure that camera must be on for both subjective and objective assessment in case there is a problem we are considerate enough no problem at all communicate to the teacher your problem or anything you know which you share with her next is you have to ensure that your device is working fine and objective type paper will be available under term 1 objective assessment tab that you will find in your google classroom and the subjective paper will be available under classwork term 1 subjective assessment tab so please uh, go through these tabs in your google classrooms i will be showing that to you as well now half an hour will be given to you for making the pdf and submitting that pdf in your google classroom so do not worry and then students can leave the google meet after submitting the pdf or for example you are not in that meet and uh, because of any reason please join in that meet once the paper is over and communicate to the teacher madam i have submitted my paper kindly check like in the school also you used to give the paper to the teacher and teacher used to check that correct roll number is there Uh, number of sheets are marked on the top on every sheet page numbers are given the name class section roll number is mentioned and everything is you know correctly ordered and you have put a thread Th this we used to do in the school also so here now it is your responsibility to see that when you are making a pdf on every sheet write down the page number write on your roll number name class section put question numbers put a line after answering one particular question and do your work in order and make the pdf and make sure it should not be blurred and it should not be horizontal you have to be uh, making the pdf in a vertical format so that it is readable and uh, the teacher can give marks accordingly like uh, she she should not be you know turning the laptop or turning the screen for checking what you have written so that is that is something which you have to be very very careful before submitting the pdf and please do not upload in any images it has to be pdf because teachers would be doing the checking of the papers so we have set the system in which pdf can be annotated and marks can be given and you can easily see the result thereafter okay now in case a child is not able to give paper because of any reason like your net connectivity is not there and you are not able to upload do not get panic okay do not get 
create some kind of anxiety it's normal because we understand that anything can happen but the right thing is communicate to the teacher on duty we have appointed one teacher in the school who would be available there and the teacher on duty will communicate to that teacher you can deposit your paper there okay so no panic just communicate like what is your problem we will resolve your problem so together we can face any challenge and find a solution and always remember that start with positive that will really really help you to achieve something good in your life after all we all are human beings respect your teacher and talk in a polite manner you know that is very very important and then tell to the teacher madam i am facing this problem can you please help me what should i do whatsapp or you know you can communicate in the chat box in the google meet that's the right way now after that teacher would be announce announcing certain things every day just to remind you that cameras must be switched on if you are able to do that that is very good subjective paper write with a dark pen it should not be light in color because when you take the pdf again it should not be blur you have to be very careful write down name class section roll number on every sheet number the sheets accordingly and click clear images must be vertical i told you this earlier also and you will be hearing this from the teacher on duty also and another important thing is when you are submitting the pdf name it in a format that is your name class section what subject paper you are submitting and then date before submitting rename your pdf if you do not do not know how to do that learn that skill of renaming the pdf and then number the answers as per the question paper and there is no need to copy the questions in the answer sheet but remember if it is a maths paper i am repeating remember if it is a maths paper there is a geometry question make the figure otherwise you will say ma'am told us that do not write the questions so you have to be very careful where you need to write and where you you know that is not required if it's a graph questions please uh, uh, paste the graph paper over there and then label the axes correct axes write the scale and then uh, take the pdf okay all these small small things are very very important now in case of any technical issue i have told you that you have to inform the class teacher or the teacher on the duty that is the right way do not panic stay calm okay so answer sheets must be submitted in the pdf form that i have already told you and all the pdfs you have to submit in the google classroom so let me take a tour of the google classroom now so here i am uh, taking you to this class let us go to the classwork tab so when you click on the classwork tab on the top you don't have to scroll down we have set everything in a way that it would not be difficult for you it will be easier for you to locate each and everything so you will see that uh, we have created four tabs in every google classroom term 1 google meet so in this section you will find two google meet links group 1 and group 2 so you know in which group you fall in a uh, falls in and then you click on that particular link and the next is term 1 objective assessment you will see the paper here for the the part a of the paper and term 1 subjective assessment here you will find your subjective paper at 10 am and then you will see here term 1 attendance term 1 attendance i told you you see here 8j ma'am has created attendance group 1 roll number 1 to 20 attendance group 2 roll number 21 to 40 so you can check your 
uh, group from uh, this uh, thing also in your respective classroom right this is this has to be done uh, by you so i hope uh, it is clear to all of you the process like how you are going to do so you can see here that uh, you can find uh, from the google classroom in this date sheet also blueprints have also been shared with all of you uh, for the term one examination and sample paper all the subjects with marking scheme has been shared with all of you and some resources are shared for the parents a uh, nice video has been created by a teacher coping up with examination stress please you can watch and uh, get aware of the things which are going on i hope uh, you as a parent must be with the child and sitting with the child and looking at like what they are doing what they are learning and what is there in the google classroom what all subject teachers have been sharing with them posting in the google classroom and be in touch with them 